Hi Pisces, thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the information, energies, and insights for you. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Fool, Major Arcana. And we have the Chariot, Major Arcana. So the Ace of Swords is the Panda. And the panda sits here eating his bamboo. He's unique. He's uh, instantly recognizable. And uh, don't be fooled by this panda because the panda can also uh, tear your arm off if you get too close. So the ace of swords. Here's the ace within his little... Uh, den and you know when we see aces aces are gifts or blessings from the universe and uh, this is a a message to you to use your intelligence to use your smarts to rely on reason and truth and um, facts perhaps instead of relying on emotion in order to make your decisions so it's a very um, I think it's a very straightforward and powerful type of energy, which is to really capture your inventiveness, your ability to innovate, your ability to strategize and think about things. And so, you know, when we look at this panda here, he has the bamboo, but he's, you know, if he's out in the wild, he's got to, he has to fend for himself. He has to, to get the food and you know I can't help but share an anecdote about the panda so I went to see the panda at the National Zoo because I live in the suburbs of Washington DC and I don't think I'd ever seen the panda before and I was expecting this amazing bear like a grizzly bear or something so powerful or like a polar bear and so when I looked at the panda, the panda was dirty. He was sad looking. He was like this little panda who was a mess in the corner of the enclosure. And he was eating the bamboo. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, I don't get that scary feeling that if you saw a polar bear or a grizzly bear or, a, you know, even a black bear, brown bear, all these bears which are so fierce. It's this sweet little panda, and he's just kind of a little blob in the corner. But again, if you read some of these anecdotes about pandas throughout the world, the people go up to them mistakenly and then get their arm ripped off. So, you know, very cute and symbolic of uh, the friendship between the United States and China. We've done everything we can to try to ensure that they're not going to become extinct. How do we do that? We do that through thinking things through, trying to come up with ideas and situations that will save these beautiful animals. So with the panda and the ace of swords, really it's your unique talents in how you think and how you strategize and how you approach life. And so think about what's really there, the facts and um, you know, just make smart decisions as you're moving through your day or through your weekend. So then we have the fool. And here's the fool, the grasshopper. <laughs> we could talk about Kung Fu. We'll do that in another time with, uh, who is it? David Carradine, I think. So I love this because it's the leaping in the air. And you know, sometimes that's what all we need. We need to take that leap of faith. We're going to take the leap and maybe we're not going to wear the safety harness when we do the bungee cord thing. Well, not the best example, but you get my drift, which is sometimes we have to shake off the harness, take the leap and whatever happens, happens because it's the excitement and it's the feeling of, of something new coming your way, a new opportunity. You know, here's the Ace of Swords, chances for new opportunities, new beginnings. Here's the Fool, literally taking the leap into something new for you. It can be something that's 
outside of your normal uh, expertise or, or interests. It could be a whole new direction for your career. It could be taking a leap of faith into the dating world of, say, for example, if you were divorced or something and you were hesitant. You know, it requires a leap of faith on your part to believe in yourself that it's worth it to you to take this risk. You know, it's the possibility that you're going to have happiness and delight and fulfillment and joy. And if you feel that you're not accessing those things right now, then, you know, find your passions, find what makes you feel happy and pursue that. Move in that direction. And I think that it's instinctual. I think we know when to say when, when we're ready to take that leap of faith. We feel it, we embody it, all of those things. And so, you know, what we have to wrap our minds around is that not always, uh, our leaps of faith don't always translate into success. Often they do, but sometimes they don't. But you, you win it any way, you win in any situation because you learn from these experiences. You learn from, uh, you know, you learn from your failures equally as from your successes. So often we let the fear of failure stop us from taking the leap of faith. But again, focus on what makes you feel alive. What's going to bring you true joy and happiness. And, you know, I'll say it, uh, it's good. People who um, are able to do their love as a career. I mean, they live longer, uh, the sense of peace and happiness because it doesn't feel like work. You feel compelled. You feel passionate about what you do. So the leap of faith, the grasshopper in midair, sort of striking visually. And then we have the chariot with the orca, and it's really a group of orcas. And so the orcas... You know, it's a shame because here I'm thinking of the orcas that are like in the San Diego Zoo or that were in the San Diego Zoo. And the zoo thing's a whole nother discussion. Um, but orcas are powerful. They're highly intelligent. They are very capable. And, uh, you know, here you see these guys are also playful too. So with the chariot, you know, the traditional meaning of, of the chariot is movement. It's the hurtling toward your goals, or your ambitions, the things that you want to accomplish in life. And regardless of the obstacles, regardless of what may come your way, you have to navigate. You have to use your considerable skills and talents and abilities to negotiate, to compromise, and to find the balance between the events, the circumstances, or the people who try to pull you apart or pull you, excuse me, away from where you're headed. So there's confidence here, there's mastery, there's um, blinded faith in where you're headed. You're just charging right forward, you're in movement, things are moving quickly. So what can we say here as we're looking at this, this spread where we have a leap of faith, we have the chariot of this movement, and the chariot also implies success, that you will have success, that you will be recognized as successful in whatever you've chosen to do. And behind it all, we have the ace of swords, which is fueling the strategy which is setting you on your course that is unique to you and that is uh, if you've thought about it, you're thinking about it, if you're moving in a new direction, then you're using all of your experience, your intelligence, and your mind in order to, to go into that direction, to take the leap of faith. I would say when we see this, and here's the beautiful sun, you know, with with. The fool, it's enjoy the journey. Enjoy the leap of faith. Again, regardless of the outcome, enjoy the experience, the connection to what you truly want to do. And then success here. So I think it's um, some really powerful cards for the day. Let's take a look at what we have in terms of 
numbers, we have seven and one is eight. And eight is about personal power. It's about recognition. It's about uh, accomplishing things and you're moving towards accomplishing things here. So let's choose an oracle card as an affirmation for the day. Worry is a wasted emotion and truer words have not been spoken is that when we sit and we worry about things that are maybe out of our own control or things that haven't happened yet, you know, that eats us up alive. And this is coming from someone I used to worry a lot. And I don't know how I broke out of it, but it's, uh, it is a waste of your time. Don't worry before something happens. Just be in the present where you are right now have faith in the universe, have faith in yourself. It's easy to worry in these times of uncertainty, and uh, but there's no benefit to worrying. You know, it's just, it's draining, it's exhausting. And worry, worry about when something, when the event happens, and then if you need to have a day of worry, then you'll worry and then maybe you can move on to think of how you're going to resolve it or meet the scenario head on. So, you know, I think it's a really powerful statement. Worry is a wasted emotion. Feel the emotion of the freedom that comes with making the sleep. Feel the emotion and celebrate the feeling of movement, of pursuing what you want to pursue. So this is what I have for you for the day. 